Hey guys, going on Nivens here. Time for your weekly rock wind up, and it seems like another week, another uh, fallen icon in the world of rock and roll. Of course, uh, many of you already know. At 69 years of age, cancer sucks. David Bowie, the star man, is gone. Ziggy Stardust uh, back from whence he came. And uh, coincidentally enough, he just dropped a new album like on his birthday, which just passed, kind of like a Lemmy situation where he just had his birthday and he passed on. But uh, again, may he rock in peace. And according to, I guess, uh, the, the David Bowie Facebook page and your private ceremony to remember the late, great David Bowie. And speaking of Lemmy, even though he's gone, he's still in the news. Uh, I guess they, uh, they made a character for him uh, in Grand Theft Auto V. And uh, what is it? Uh, what, what's the, uh, the, the Food and Beverage Magazine officially renames a Jack and Coke the Lemmy. If you need to know the official mixing of it, it's two ounces of Jack, ten ounces of Coke, and then bitters. You're supposed to shake it uh, with ice, strain it into a whiskey glass, and then recommended a little, uh, a little twist of lemon peel as, uh, what do they call it, garnish. Got a couple of lawsuits on the books. It seems that Warner Brothers is now suing Avenged Sevenfold for a breach of contract, according to their uh, uh, a recent posting on their website. In his quote, we recently exercised our rights under California law and notified Warner Brothers Records we would no longer record for them. Few of the executives who have been integral to our success are still at the label, and we love and are grateful for them and for their hard work. However, since we signed with the label, Warner Brothers has had three different reg regimes, multiple heads of marketing, and none of the senior management or AR executives who were at the company responsible for signing us are still there and they go on to explain that the California law allows them to do this so uh, I guess we'll just wait and see what happens with this hot mess until we get new Avenged Sevenfold and hot mess uh, it looked like uh, uh, Metallic was going to piss off a lot of people but it seems the band themselves said no 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 earlier this week there was a cease and desist letter to a, Cal to a Canada based tribute band Sandman uh, and uh, according to Metallica, uh, it was a very overzealous attorney. And they've also asked them to uh, uh, ask the attorney to go on to Alaska and not come back. And they uh, are very supportive of Sandman and hope that they continue on with what they're doing. And close out your weekly rock wind up with just a couple of new music announcements. Uh, Zach Wilde's Book of Shadows 2 will be out on April the 8th via Entertainment One Music. Uh, this is Zach's uh, so first solo release in 20 years. It's a follow-up to, of course, 1996, Book of Shadows. And Chevelle, based out of Chicago, are looking to kick out their eighth studio album sometime uh, this year. They're back in studio working on it right now. I'm Nevin. Thank you very much for tuning in to Weekly Rock Windup. Have a great weekend doing whatever it is that you do. And, of course, as always, 